Doug, good morning to you. I'm actually uh, right along the water here, and I can tell you that holding on is just fine, but if I let go, that's not as fine. And certainly the winds are coming strong right now. And Kevin, if you can actually kind of look a little bit behind me, I don't even know if you can see those white caps. If you can, great. If you can't, I'm here to explain them for you because they are already starting as it's coming off the water. Doug, you know this, and, and certainly Antoinette, you know this as well. If you're standing in something right along the water, and it's a mix of snow and whatever is coming up from the ocean, it tends to feel like chunks of ice. I promise not to complain too much about the chunks of ice coming off the water, but certainly they are right now. All right, we've been talking all about how that high tide is coming at eight o'clock and what impacts it could potentially have. We are a little bit elevated here, fortunately, but we know that this is gonna be coming over the seawall. At some point, we'll monitor that as well. And of course, keep you posted throughout the morning. Matt said his drive to get to where he is wasn't too bad. I can tell you the same thing, not too treacherous, coming all the way down Route 3 behind some plow trains. Certainly slow going, 20, 25 miles per hour. But as of when I was driving in that, whatever it was, three o'clock hour, things were fairly good, at least at that point. And of course, we'll keep it monitored throughout the morning. We're live at Situate, Josh Brogadier, WCVB News Center 5.